hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it um i know y'all done heard by now that rollo is out of jail y'all y'all know he was in the feds okay for almost six years he was locked up he was signed to gucci man i don't know if he's still signed to him or not but he was signed to gucci man 1017 um label and he just got out and um he scared me for a minute, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Because when they showed him first getting out, and I saw him with them glasses on and that hat on, and then he took that stand, I was like, oh, Lord, did they get him? And they just clinked him up over here to the right, y'all. Gave him another outfit to put on, took the glasses off, and, you know, put him in his other gear. And now he's, you know, switched back to the old Rollo. Okay, y'all? So, um, yeah, but he scared me for a minute. I swear to God, he did. He scared me, y'all. Um, I was like, oh, Lord. But, you know, he still ain't out the water yet. We got to make sure. He ain't got to go, you know, snap out like finesse two times and get three women and stuff like that to show us his manhood. Okay? Because now I'm starting to wonder about finesse. You wanted people to think that you, you know, into women. He, he said it was his, his drive. Okay? Is why that he did what he did. But, could he have been trying to prove something to himself? I'm just saying, y'all. Okay? Not just us. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. So, I'm hoping that Rollo is, you know, stay like the picture on the right and not go that route right now. Okay, please. Can we keep some of our brothers that's coming out of there? Um, you know, on the straight and narrow. Okay, y'all. So um he comes out of there and y'all, lo and behold, he has smoke with a couple people. You know what I'm saying, y'all? He had smoke with a couple of people. Now, he had a little smoke with Boosie because Boosie was calling him a snitch. And I don't know why in the world can Boosie and how in the world, y'all, can Boosie call somebody a snitch when he himself has been accused over and over again of being a snitch? How do every time he go to jail, he work out some kind of deal and get out? Every time he get caught with something or do something wrong or this or that, that, and this. And I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that a lot of people feel that, um, Boosie is a snitch as well because the other day that he claimed that he lost his um ankle monitor. And I'm like, how the heck do you lose your ankle monitor? If he lost his ankle monitor, that means he ain't wearing it, y'all. He was offering five thousand dollars to somebody if they found it. This is what I heard. Now I y'all and if that's the case, y'all, um, did Boosie snitch on somebody because he's out here doing whatever it is he wanna do. He ain't got that monitor on, and he's lying about it. You know what I'm saying, y'all? It's a lot of snitches out here in the industry right now, okay? And we're going to get the trap, boy, y'all. We're going to get to it. I'm going to try to go live with that one. But yes, yes, a lot of snitching going on. And they point the fingers at other people. But what about you? And I'm going to just say this. I got to give him his kudos since he got out. Because it's so many people that's out here so fake and phony. I'm going to be so completely honest with you. A lot of people are just fake and phony. Okay, y'all? Look how, you know, um, Glorilla, okay? She was all for Dolph, pro-Dolph. As soon as Dolph got taken out, she flipped the script. And not only did she sign with CMG, but, you know, word on the street is it was a mingling and tingling going on, okay, with the big head. Okay, y'all? So, I'm going to just say this. Um, at least he came out and he's still rocking with Dolph. And he letting everybody know that he's still rocking with Dolph. Okay, y'all? He let it be known. And he said he, he pretty much was letting them know he want all the smoke. No, no disrespect. But he's saying that, you know, he's rocking with Dolph. And I, I'm loving it, y'all. Seriously. I am loving it. And a lot of people was um, talking a lot of stuff. They was talking stuff, talking about he just got out and he already on the BS and the this and the that. 
um, this is how he's going to get on and make his money right now because he's a rapper. So he's going to come out and rap about some stuff. He didn't disrespect them. He was just letting them know that he's rocking with Dolph. So he said no disrespect. But the thing of it is, when you don't rock with certain people that want you to rock with them in the industry, then they'll try to get rid of you like they did Dolph. Okay, so he got to be careful with this whole situation. But he was letting them know where he stand from the start. He wasn't no flip-flopper. And I'm so happy that he's not because there's so many out here that are. Okay? Everybody just, you know, they, they see Gotti and they act as if everything is, you know, A-OK. -okay. Not everybody because a lot of people is in their feelings about, you know, th them taking Dolph out. Okay, y'all allegedly taking Dolph out. But we all know that they say he's been doing it for years trying to get it. Okay, y'all? And just because you go to the White House and this and that, it's a lot of stuff going on at the White House that's not right right now. Okay? So, you know, Yo Gotti being at the White House and all of this other stuff and, you know, Black Youngster them and this and that and that and this. You know, we, we, we paying attention. We're paying attention to all of that. Okay? And I'm glad somebody is brave enough to come out and, you know, take their stance on the whole situation, to be honest with y'all. Because what happened to Dolph shouldn't have never happened. Just like what happened to Mo3 shouldn't have never happened. And to be honest with you, what happened to King Von was bogus. It seriously was. And it was a straight up setup, y'all. A straight up setup. The whole thing. And I know that people have done their dirt and this and that. Yes, I know this. But I'm talking about the inner circle that, that played a part in taking King Von out. Not... You know, that's the part that gets me. That's the part that gets me. People that was, you know, he was talking to and stuff like that. Boosie telling him to come and meet him and all of this other stuff. It's just, boys, your, I'm just saying, y'all, kind of boys your blood sometimes, okay? The stuff that's going on in the industry. This is why I keep saying, Krishan Rock better be careful, okay, y'all? So he comes out and let it be known that, you know, he is not rocking wood. You know, CMG, he, this is, you know, he spit a little, um, let me, let me, let, let me put it on for a second and let y'all hear what he said. Okay, y'all. Let me put it on. I thought I had it up here. I want y'all to listen to this. And he was still saying no disrespect. Oh, Lord. Don't y'all hate when y'all go to IG and y'all, the first thing that y'all see is like, nasty red and she's you know shaking and acting like she dancing and stuff and i'll be like oh lord make you want to throw up just seeing it you trying to click real fast so rollo um y'all know he went to prison for he got caught with a million dollars y'all a million dollars worth of trees y'all that's what he went to prison for in the first place make me want to cry y'all i was like oh man Okay, let's go. Let's go. CMG, I love Dolph, so I can't never huh? sound CMG. Yeah. It ain't no beef, bitch. I respect, they gon' respect this shit. I can't disrespect this shit. I promise me, don't wreck this bitch. Who the fuck want it? They can ask me. You got the balls and money bags. He said they asked him, do he have problems with money bags? He said he loved Dolph, so he ain't gonna never sign with CMG. Uh, deal, I guess we'll deal with CMG. Okay, y'all. And he just saying he loved Dolph, and he said it ain't no beef, but he just letting them know this, y'all. So he came out and um, he he he's picking sides. He's picking sides. I'm gonna tell y'all this: it's a lot of people that depict Dolph side. They just ain't saying nothing in the industry. They're just being a little bit quiet. But they didn't. It's a lot of people that did not like what happened in the industry, but they ain't saying nothing. Okay, y'all. They're, not, they're just not talking about it. But people, it's other celebrities that's peed off about Dolph too. Okay? So, um, just because 
you know, um, we ain't seeing things go down. Y'all, um, there's a bag. There's there's bags on, on some folks' heads. Word on street, y'all. Okay? I'm just saying. So, I'm not surprised that people is coming out and taking their sides and this and that and that and this. I'm just saying, y'all. I am not surprised about it at all. Whatsoever. Because what happened shouldn't have happened, y'all. And I'm going to just tell y'all this. A lot of people in the industry um, that's trying to do independent and stuff like this, they're taking them out because they can't, you know, um, get money out of them. And if they can't get money out of them, they don't want them in the game with them. And this is how the game is going right now. Anybody that comes in the game that's trying to teach people a different way to doing things and make their money, still they get them out the way okay look at tory okay look at tory they got him out of there he wouldn't sign with you know jay-z they got him out of there anybody that you know they can't run over they get them locked up or they get them taken out word on the street y'all and it's a money game this is what's going on in the industry so this is why a lot of people is kind of like thinking about Krishan right now because she don't want to sign with nobody and all of that. And they want her to. And I really hope she don't get starstruck and start, you know, thinking that, um, you know, Beyonce and them coming around. Oh, they just offered me a deal, Beyonce. Look at Beyonce and Jay-Z the same way you would anybody else. People are, you know, getting over on some of these artists out here. They really are. And just like back in the day when they did TLC them and all that, it's the same thing going on right now. The same exact thing going on right now. Look at this car or truck or whatever the SUV that he just bought, Glorilla. Okay, y'all? It it just seemed like the same pattern as TLC them. When they got gifted all of that stuff and then they found out later it wasn't a gift. We was talking about this when she first signed, when Glorilla first signed, y'all. So it's a lot of shady stuff going on in the industry right now. And just because somebody buy you a car and make it look like they, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Uh, please. They letting them still know. Because people's coming in my comment section talking about Glorilla, she's blessed. Yeah. Glorilla is in the hole with these guys. She is in the hole. Okay, y'all? Literally with these guys right here. They got her right where they want her. And as soon well, she's not pulling her weight anymore. I'm just saying, y'all. Liquidation time. Liquidation. Okay? This guy right here is learning the game from um Jay-Z. He's teaching him. And he don't even understand that Jay-Z will get probably the sad paperwork with him that'll knock him off and get him out the way and he take over CMG. See, this is how the game goes, y'all. But they don't understand it. Because just because you a hater, you don't think you got haters too. And most nine times out of ten, people like, you know, I'm just going to throw it out there. You know, people like Jay-Z now, um, that's the worst kind of hater to have if you have somebody like Jay-Z. That's the worst kind. Look at Nipsey. Okay, y'all. Look at Prince. That's the worst kind of person. This is why he said what he said. I do believe that Nipsey said what he said, okay? About strong enemies. What you think them strong who you, you think those strong enemies were? Nipsey was letting people know all his ideas. He got starstruck when he saw Jay-Z. He started telling stuff. And he took it and ran with it. Okay, y'all? Like he do got some good ideas. I'll take that. Allegedly. So, uh, Rollo say he's not, he ain't messing with CMG like that. Hmm. And he got some nice little, um, he got, I like what he was saying, y'all. I'm just going to be completely honest. It sounds good. Okay. I'm talking about the rhyme. All right, y'all. Sounds good. But like I said, he scared me for a minute. Y'all let me know what y'all think about how Rollo is coming out. And he said no disrespect. He was like, he, it ain't no beef. But he do not understand one thing. Just because you say it ain't no beef don't mean it ain't going to be no beef. 
Because anybody, Rollo, that don't side with certain people, they want you out the way. They kept offering Dolph deals. And he turned them down. And this is where he's at. He's gone now. So you got to think about that too. Think about it. And be careful. Seriously. I might have to do his numbers too. Because when, for him to come out like this, I, I might have to do his numbers, y'all. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about Rollo and coming out and letting them know. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That he got love for Dolph. And he's showing his loyalty to Dolph. No matter what. And he said he'll get taken out for this stuff. Lord knows I hope he don't. Okay, y'all? Prayers up for him. But he said that if it comes down to it. And there's going to be a lot of people like this. Okay, y'all? People is taking their stands, y'all. In their sides. And you have to sometimes. You can't just get on social media and just report a story and don't just actually say what you feel sometimes, y'all. You know, respectfully. You can't. You can't just have because, oh, you a bald blogger from Dallas. You know Trap them is wrong about the stuff that they doing, but you still and all, you want to just still say some positive good for him, even though he's not doing good. Messing up a lot of lives, y'all. Taking a lot of, you know, kids, fathers away from them. Word on the street. As well as kids. From the parents. So, how long do you just sit back and act like you're just going to accept it? Still say something nice about somebody just because it's trap, real? So, we we, we going to pretend that, y'all, that they didn't do all the stuff that they did. Just because, oh, now they want to find God. Because word on the street, that's, that's what's coming out of trap mouth, right? Yeah, we're going to get into that next, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.